Hey guys. I'm so pissed. I just got done getting my nails done. And I'm just, I'm just pissed off. Oh my gosh, this is like a bad start to like a vlog, but... <laughs> I'm just so annoyed right now. First of all, I get... So this is what my nails are looking like. I can't even show you guys properly. I have to wait until I'm at the house, but... So first of all, it opens at 9 o'clock, so I wanted to get in there super early. I did not make an appointment with my usual stylist, which is 1,000% my fault, but here's the issue. Yesterday, I bumped my nail, my um, index finger. First of all, they were just growing out, so I definitely had to get them done, but yesterday, I broke my nail. Not broke it. God damn it. Get it together, Kenesha. Yesterday... Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. My apologies, ma'am. Um, oh, guys, I don't know what I was saying. So yesterday, I bumped my nail. So I needed to really get them done today, right? So I was like, let me just go in super early so it's not that busy. But then I go in and I don't see my nail tick. So I'm a little bit stressed out and I'm like, okay, well fuck it I just I need to get them done I don't want to come back this is how they're looking right now I I wanted to remove the tips and all that but the whole point of the story of me telling you this is the lady that did my nails I feel like didn't really know what she was doing there's like still acetone on my hands the color that I picked, I 1000% picked that color, but I did not know that it was like this childish, childish glittery type of situation going on. I really thought that it was more like a opaque, nice little um, pinky tone. Thank you with some um, some super light some super light pink glitter but it was not it's like this really I'm gonna barf type of glitter and also I clearly cannot tell a story when I'm driving so that's my fault but, um, I don't know, guys. So, there's still, do you see that there's still acetone? I asked for a coffin shape. I don't really feel like this is a coffin, coffin shape that's more square. She didn't go underneath my nails. So, there's like still stuff stuck under there. But I, I couldn't even. I didn't even want to ask her to go over anything or whatever because I'm on top of that I'm on my freaking period well I'm not on my period but my period is coming today tomorrow whatever yes it's a lot of TMI but that's this is oh Oh my god, and now I gotta go to freaking Dylan's because Benjamin needs cereal and it's 11, which means it's lunchtime and I was gonna make pancakes for lunch. She literally took like an hour and a half doing my nails, which usually that's kind of what it is, but my nail tech does it in an hour and uh, I just, I gotta get out.
So also what I was trying to get at before. Is that. I have to tell you that my period is about to come for the moral of the story. Because I'm so upset and annoyed by my nails. But it's something that I usually would not be like this upset about. But it's because of my hormones. And it's. Like every time my period is about to come on, I'm just in the worst mental space. Like my mental health is usually fine. And then every time this happens, this happens. And it's so annoying because sometimes I have periods where I'm doing extremely well and I love cleaning and cooking and all that kind of jazz. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish it could always be like this. And then the next period hits and it's like, nope, this is your regular stuff. We just gave you a little, a little something, something last time. And it's so annoying. Um, Cause I was stressed out about like stuff yesterday. And then I feel like I'm, super um short and impatient with idris and then he is like not scared that's not the right word but he's like oh wow mom is you know yelling for something silly something that she normally would probably not yell to me about you know what i'm saying and it's just i feel so bad for him but then i'm also making it bigger in my head like you know it wasn't that big of a deal like relax Yes, you yelled, but, you know, relax. But still, it's, it's so bad, guys. And it's so hot, and Idris doesn't want to go outside, which is also something that's kind of annoying me now. Well, he wants to go outside. He wants to go outside in our yard, but he doesn't want to go play in the playground. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what to do with that, you know? So that also... Now I have to think about new ways to keep him entertained in the day. So during my period, more often than not, the TV will be put on because I just, I, I just can't. And it's not that I'm in pain. It's just that mentally I'm so like drained and not in the mood to do anything um, that I just turn the TV on, which is not something that... I want to do but then while I'm doing it I feel so bad about it like oh my god that's you know a lot of screen time or oh my god you know stuff like that so it's I'm, I'm just all over the place guys and I'm really feeling I'm, I'm throwing myself a huge pity party is basically what I'm saying and I'm completely fine with that well, I'm not completely fine with that, but it is what it is, you know? So, it's like... And there's freaking fireworks everywhere on our driveway, so I hope none of it got to our car. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Just... My period's not even here yet, guys. Like, look at... Like, listen to how my brain is doing all these things, and I just want to, like, cry. I just want to cry. I want to have a good cry, basically. Hey, guys. Hold on. I'm going to have to balance you. Like this. How do I keep you from falling over? Oh, and the battery's flashing. Great. Um, basically, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I'm doing much, much better. It's Monday now. Um, when I vlogged those last two bits, you know, those car vlogs. Um, that was Saturday morning. I'm doing much better now. I had a super productive day, as in just basically cleaning. Um, 
I deep cleaned the dishwasher. I deep cleaned our vacuum cleaner. Just stuff that you kind of put off, but definitely has to be done every so often. Um, and yeah, I just, I just definitely, I didn't want to just have those two clips and then maybe random footage or even not post those clips because that is how I truly feel or felt at least um you know and every period is definitely different and it's a a different journey and different levels of happiness and sadness and frustration and all those type of emotions but yeah it's just crazy how much that period how much those couple of days can really affect you and your outlook on everything, life in general. Um, so yeah, what do you guys do in order to like not refrain yourself from going there mentally, but maybe like pull yourself back? Like I had a lot of self-care this weekend i decided to not really be on social media not post on instagram um not be active on there um i didn't do any vlogging other than those two clips in the car i d i just didn't feel like it so when idris was asleep i just laid out in the sun with a book or stayed inside with a book i'm currently reading a desirable Desirable Residence. Ugh. Um, it's the same author as the All These Shopaholic books. I needed something like lighthearted and stuff because I was reading something. I don't know. I'll screenshot it here. I was reading that a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, but I just can't get into it, especially at night because it's too deep and it's so much knowledge. I have to read that during the day. But now I felt like reading something light and I've I've been doing good. I've been picking the book back up and stuff, so I love it. Um, okay, I want to end this before the camera shuts off. So I just basically wanted to say that maybe I'm going to vlog a little bit here and there um, before Wednesday because I'm posting this on Wednesday. And that's basically it. I'm doing way better and I'm just riding the waves, waiting till it's over. Um, at least I'm not in pain. I love that. Ja, ik wil niet een baba.